Today we are flying from San Francisco to Boston and it is a very special day for two reasons. First, we are flying JetBlue Mint for the first time and it was just voted the best first class airline seat in the US. There is a button that says massage. And second, that flight is taking us to turn internet friends into real life friends. If you've ever watched any sailing videos on YouTube, you probably recognize this awesome family. Where's Lenny? Where's he? Oh. We are very excited to meet them for the first time, but we're also a little nervous because we have a very embarrassing secret that we need to share with them. We do have a little bit of a past. The we do. It's we really, it's a very one-sided past. It's a video that we filmed for them five years ago, and it's kind of hard to watch. This is so painful. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see us make a very awkward first impression, stick around till the end of the video back to the flight. Normally, flying within the US isn't super exciting. It's usually a short flight, and even if you are sitting up front in business class, the seats are just a little bit wider. It's really nothing to get excited about. I realize how spoiled this sounds, but when you spend years living on airplanes... Anyway, today's flight from San Francisco to Boston is almost a full six hours, and it is in a fully lay-flat seat with a closing door. It's the best possible flying experience within the US. Let's go. If you missed our last video, we just completed one of the scariest physical challenges of our lives. Swimming a mile and a half in the frigid San Francisco Bay waters that separate the infamous Alcatraz prison from the shores of San Francisco. Not only was the swim a physical challenge, but it was also us confronting our fears of open water and sharks face to face. So to reward ourselves for miraculously finishing the swim, we're flying up front today. much. JetBlue is my new favorite airline. The guy was weighing my bag. I knew it was overweight. It definitely said 52 pounds and he just kind of kept rolling it and I didn't say anything. He didn't say anything and my bag's going to the Bahamas. Magic. So this is gonna sound a little spoiled, but hear me out. Even though we're flying first class today, we don't get lounge access that comes with our ticket because we're not flying international and because JetBlue just doesn't do that. But thankfully, San Francisco is home to one of our favorite domestic lounges that we get free access to using a credit card. As it turns out, the Centurion Lounge was in Terminal 3 and we were in Terminal 1, so we couldn't get there without leaving through security. What is that? <laughs> it's an important app. So instead of using our American Express to get into the Centurion Lounge, we used our Priority Pass to get into the Air France Lounge. Oh no, I wrote Air Frain. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Which ended up being a surprisingly nice place to spend a couple of hours before our flight. They had a decent selection of healthy food, drinks, and most importantly, coffee. Normally we stay in a lounge until we literally have to run to our gate not to miss the flight, but on this rare occasion we're more excited about the flight than we are about the lounge, so we're early. We have not even boarded this plane yet and I already don't want it to be over. <laughs> I cannot believe how nice this seat is. It is gigantic. I had to lean over to open the window. Is this our biggest business class seat ever? Cheers. Thank you, Emirates. Kara forgot about the Emirates flight that I flew without her. I have no words right now. I already love our flight attendants. Their names are Kelly and Carrie. They brought me a welcome glass of champagne. Well, it's not in the glass. I mean, I don't care, but I'm just pointing it out. This is the first pre-departure champagne that I've had in the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. All right, your items can be stored in the overhead bin. Small electronics may be held placed in your pocket or in the seat back in front of you, but cellular services must be turned off. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. It looks like it's designed specifically for the plane. Multitasking blanket and cloud-like pillow. So apparently you can cover yourself with it and have a foot nook. Sleep shawl, rest vest. I told our flight attendant that we were celebrating that we survived swimming from Alcatraz. Next thing I knew, the pilot of the plane was back here congratulating us. Made me feel really cool. I'm just so happy. So these seats in JetBlue Mint class have a very interesting layout. 
there's four seats in one row, then two seats in the next, then four seats, then two seats, then four seats. So basically, if you can grab one of the seats that's in the row that only has two seats, you get a seat that's twice as big. Look at all the space. They've nicknamed the seat the throne seat. You can see why it has huge armrests on both sides. It's pretty awesome. Welcome aboard from the flight deck. Five hours, 10 minutes in route. It's a great day for flying. Nice night in Boston. Welcome aboard. Before we go any further, we want to say a big thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. If you've been following along for a while, then you probably already know that Nate and I have been drinking AG1 every day for over two years now. Every single morning, the first thing I do when I wake up is, of course, drink my morning coffee. But then, I always have my AG1. And somehow, even though I talk about this on here all the time, people still, when they see me in real life drinking it, are like, oh, wow, you actually drink that stuff? I don't know how else to say it. Yes, even though this is technically an ad, I'm obsessed with it. And in case you don't already know, AG1 is an all-in-one nutritional supplement, which basically means just one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source nutrients, probiotics, and adaptogens. All things that we definitely weren't getting from our diet alone. So starting my day with this just makes me feel so good, physically, but also just mentally knowing my body is getting what it needs. Plus I think it tastes really nice. What I love the most about it is just how convenient it is. Whether we're spending the day swimming across San Francisco Bay or just sitting in an airplane for hours and hours, we always make AG1 a priority and then we know we've covered all of our nutritional bases. It takes five minutes. It really only takes one minute. Nate can drink this so fast. So if you'd like to try some for yourself, which you definitely should, if you click our link in the description below, you can get the AG1 Immunity Bundle. Your first purchase will include this jar that we keep in the van, this shaker, five free travel packs, which are sticking in all the pockets of my suitcase right now, and a whole year supply of these immune supporting vitamin D drops. We hope you love it as much as we do. All right, back to the flight. Can I have the mint condition cocktail with gin? And would you like your whole vegan meal? That would be great. Sure. Thank you. Whoa, baby. I cannot get over the fact that this is a domestic flight and so far might be the best airplane seat I've ever flown in. Not only is this the most space I've ever had on a plane, there's a remote, but the TV is also gigantic with lots of movie options. And I have a door. Bye. My armrest on the right side is literally a table. This is bigger than my nightstand at home. I have not one, but three outlets. <laughs> Plus there's tons of storage. There's an adorable little pocket right here that's perfectly sized for my phone. Then there's a drink holder right here. Then there's also storage under the TV. And there's a basket down by my feet. There's a massive storage unit over here by the aisle. I've thrown so much stuff in there, I'm for sure gonna forget something. I have no idea what this thing does, but I'm going to pull it to see what happens. Ugh. Ugh. Nothing's happening. <gasps> no way. This is nice. And shortly after I sat down, the flight attendant brought me a menu, which is pretty standard for business class, but also a cocktail menu, which is a really nice touch. I have a little nightlight. Boop. Above that is like my do not disturb button. She said if I press it, they won't wake me up, won't bother me. I don't think I'll be sleeping on this flight. <laughs> they provided us with some noise canceling headphones. They look cool. These are all the controls for your seat. Oh, oh, scooting me up. Tilting me back a little bit. Ooh, I can increase the lumbar support. The back of my chair is inflating like a balloon right now. I just pressed the massage button. Oh my gosh, right? It's so cool. I've never seen this before. <gasps> Thank you. There are a few times that I've ever been happier in my entire life. <laughs> okay, while I'm getting a massage and enjoying my drink, I'm gonna open the amenity kit. I'm not sure what Wonder Fuel is. <gasps> What? Travel ready coconut oil packets? What do I do with this? Coconut oil packets? I bet that's what she was doing. This is a face and body moisturizer. Ayurvedic oil pulling. I actually have this really cool reminder that I swam from Alcatraz. It's from my wetsuit. I feel like this would be perfect for that. A hydration bag. Oh my gosh, honey lozenges. Miracle mist? Miracle, oh. pretty nice. How cute are these socks? Putting those on ASAP. I have to say, JetBlue does it a little different than any other airline that we've ever been on, but I'm very impressed. The mountains out the window right now are insanely beautiful. Could this day get any better? I cannot believe how much food there is right here. 
I have real silverware, this beautiful veggie salad, vegetable pasta with asparagus, edamame, and some other kind of vegetable medley. Then there's these mushrooms and rice, this beautiful little bread with this little gold bowl that has the cutest olive oil I've ever seen. And chili oil. Mm. The salad is fabulous. There's just something about eating fresh food out of real dishes with real silverware on an airplane. Mm. Cannot have pasta without spicy. And I'm just gonna assume it needs some salt. Mm. Salad, fantastic. Pasta, I'm gonna go with basic, but basic isn't bad. So we both pre-ordered the vegan meal, which turned out to be actually really, really good. But if you're not eating vegan, they have five different small plates and you can choose three of the five plates. If I'm gonna be picky, I would add probably three cloves of garlic to this. <laughs> Don't tell Kara, but I ordered one thing that wasn't vegan on the menu. I got the burrata, which is this beautiful cheese dish. If I'm comparing this meal to every other meal I've ever had on an airplane, I'd give it like an eight and a half out of 10. If I'm including the cocktail in my rating, it's a nine and a half out of 10. Thank you. Kara probably didn't get this because it isn't vegan, but this is vanilla gelato with roasted pineapple and salted oats. I hesitate to say this because this might be the most spoiled comment that I've ever made, but this is better than the hot fudge sundae that American Airlines serves in their business class. It was so good. You have to try this. Why didn't I get ice cream? There are very few sweet things that aren't chocolate that I actually like, but this is really good. <laughs> Time to get cozy. This pillow is so soft. This is basically a giant blanket with some snaps on it. Come on. I feel like this blanket has gone through the washer and then the dryer, and the dryer has maybe melted this metal so that I can't snap it properly. It was a cute idea, but a blanket is just fine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I still cannot believe that we're on a domestic flight. And what just makes this even better is that we flew to San Francisco in the middle seat in the very back of the plane between two strangers. Life's all about balance. I think I'll stay in the relaxed stance. Turn my massage on. <laughs> this is a life. Ciao, ciao. So what the the flight attendants wrote us a letter. Congratulations on your accomplishments swimming Alcatraz. So sweet. I came into this thinking it would be a slightly better business class experience than what we're used to in the US. Can we sound any more spoiled in this video? What I'm trying to say is this was absolutely amazing. Or I don't know, maybe it's because I slept on a deserted island with crabs and poisonous spiders and didn't eat for three days and then went directly to swimming in open water. I don't know. That could have something to do with it, but I really do think this is an amazing experience that I'm so, so glad we got to have. House of Gucci is fantastic. On behalf of all of us here at JetBlue, especially this Boston Bay crew, thank you for choosing JetBlue. What size wetsuit did y'all wear? Three or five? Or? <laughs> I was a uh, medium. Well, I'm talking about thickness. Three or five? Oh. Or? <laughs> this is how much we don't know what we're doing. That's what swimming. Hey, hey, we're just awesome. like, give us the warm one. That was potentially the best flight of my life. Just saying. About six hours later, after making friends with all the crew, we have made it to Boston. I uh, also just realized I forgot to take off the socks and get me on the plane. <laughs> This is a fashion statement right here. After landing in Boston, we still had two more flights and two overnight layovers before we'd be arriving in the Bahamas, where we would awkwardly debut the never before seen video. So we caught a shuttle to the hotel and got a few hours of sleep. Oh, sweet home. Before waking up way too early to make our way back to the airport. <sighs> and we're back. Yeah. 
All right, from here we have three and a half hours to the Bahamas, and if we're lucky, no one will sit in this middle seat. Also, this is a totally different experience than yesterday. Yesterday was the nicest, domestic seat I've ever flown, and today this might be the oldest. It still has the credit card slot where you can pay for movies. But the good news is, these old planes have very squishy, comfy seats. They just don't make them like they used to. Sit back, relax, and go fight. On behalf of all of us here at JetBlue Airways, thank you for spending part of your day with us. We hope you fly with us again soon. After a very bumpy three hour ride, we have made it to the Bahamas. After arriving in Nassau, we still had one more overnight layover before our last flight the next morning. So we checked into a hotel with a leaky air conditioner. It's always a good sign. This trash can is completely full of water dripping from the, the air conditioner. And then headed back to the airport again the next morning. Good morning. In just a few minutes, we are going to be boarding our last flight of the trip. It's a short 35 minute flight from Nassau to Marsh Harbor. Before we meet up with Riley and Elena in real life, we have a confession that we need to make. See, we've been holding a bit of a grudge for the last five years. Back in 2017, their channel was blowing up and ours was not. We were about to run out of money and have to go home. But that wasn't the grudge. We loved them. So much so that around that time, they announced that they were hiring a videographer and an editor. And we thought we would be the perfect people for the position and it would be a way for us to continue traveling. How could there be a more perfect combo out there? Nate was the videographer, I was the editor. We've been it's making like incredible one. travel videos for the last year. <laughs> the best travel vlogs you two had ever seen. <laughs> Watch and learn. So we submitted our video resume. Hey guys, we are Karen and Nate. And um, they never watched it. Not a single time. To this day, it they still has zero views. Chance. This hurt our feelings a little bit. So we felt like it was something that we needed to address so that we could get this relationship started off on the right foot. Once again, I can... Please refer to the safety card located in the seat on the seat pocket here. We have made it to the Abacos. I'm super excited to see what this place is all about because Riley and Elena spoke very highly of it. Thanks for picking us up. You're welcome. This is very fancy. Riley and Elena sent a driver. Good first impression. I'm liking him more already. <laughs> Hey guys, we see you. <gasps> <laughs> this is so crazy. Welcome everyone. I cannot believe we're here. Hi guys. Hey. Nice Got him. Got it. Got it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that one yeah. might sink the boat. Go on, night. Listen, I'm gonna be of no use on this boat. <laughs> no, no, you <laughs> will. You will. Arms and legs inside the vehicle. <laughs> Are there seatbelts? <laughs> Can Kyra and Nate come on board? Yeah. Oh, you can come. All right. Oh, thanks. All right. Home sweet home. Where is my bag gonna go? <laughs> oh, no, no room. You might need to do a little unpacking. <laughs> oh, oh man. He's huge. Whoa. This oh. is the best day ever. What? <laughs> welcome us. I'm so happy I could cry. <gasps> well, that is a pretty good welcome to the Bahamas. <coughs> so should we explain what we're doing? Or yeah, we no, no, just do it. Oh, no, no, okay. So I don't think either of you know this, but we do have a little bit of a past. Okay. Together. The I do. It's really, it's a very one-sided past. Okay. And we have a video that we need to show you. All right. And I said earlier that we were holding a grudge. But okay. the truth is it's more like an embarrassing secret and I thought we could all get a good laugh out of this to start the trip. I literally have no idea what I'm about to say. Do you remember back in 2017 when you were hiring an editor <laughs> and you were taking video submissions? 
so oh my good. Okay, oh. this video has zero views, so you never watched it. We spent a lot of time oh. on it. You didn't even give us a chance. Imagine we had Cara and Nate on board. <laughs> don't hold any of this against wow. me. This is the funniest thing. Full time travel YouTuber on the road for the last. Look at this, Lenny. <laughs> Lenny wants to watch. In Cusco, Peru. So we watched a video where you wanted to hire somebody for videography and bring somebody aboard. This is so painful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. we like think we're a pretty good fit. <laughs> this is... We gave you 10 reasons why you should hire us. Wow. Okay, there you go. This is very funny, you guys. Yeah, I can believe it. that up. And here we are. How did we miss that? <laughs> Thanks for having us on board. Yeah. It's something I've always wanted to tell y'all, but like, I didn't want y'all to think we were weird or like... <laughs> <laughs> is there a cool... You don't have to cool, constantly muck around with the sides. A cool, like, boat wave. Nah, nah, nah. Really? <laughs> you don't have like a secret little like... Nah. Uh, see, he's waving. I'm assuming he's a fan of the show. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're Karen Nate. <laughs>